name is Pablo Riera and I am working alongside Victor in this video tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to show you uh, how to create um, your basic uh, columns uh, column and floor slabs uh, such as in the uh, precedent study of uh, Toyo Ito library so the first thing we want to do is we want to create a point in Rhino bring down a parameter here in Grasshopper right click on the point set one point and then select that point on uh, Rhino what we want to do what we want to do from there is uh, move the point twice in order to create uh, three points which are essentially going to be um, three floor slabs so we go to the X form and we go to the move command we uh, plug in and we also need a vector uh, a Z vector to move the point up and down and we also need a slider everybody loves a slider uh, connect that to the Z vector and put it in put in some reasonable values I don't know like 25 or something like that so now you see we've moved the point and uh, you should name your parameters that's a good idea point uh, copy this because we're going to make three points name that point three okay cool so now we have three points Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to create a rectangle to create the, the floor slab surface, but first we got to go to the vector and go to the XY plane. Uh, let's connect that to the first point. So now we can create a rectangle from this uh, XY uh, plane. So we've got a curve, and we've got a rectangle connected here, and we also want some width and depth. So uh, we could actually probably just copy these sliders over here. And uh, set some parameters for these suckers over here. Uh, okay, so now we just go to the number parameter, label these width and depth. Do some connecting because that's what Grasshopper is all about connecting. Right, okay, so now. Uh, you see we've created a rectangle that can be uh, changed its width and depth. Uh, now we, we can create the surface. So now we go to planar surface and uh, don't forget to set a parameter for it. Uh, okay, cool. So now what we want to do is we want to create a circle on this surface. On this tricky little surface over here. Uh, and one way to do that um, is we uh, by creating the circle on the surface we have to first evaluate the surface and you'll see why eventually so we connect this here and we also we also want to reparameterize the surface and uh, put a point on it uh, let's go to the XYZ point XYZ and since it's only UV and we can move the XY uh, and move the point in the XY so uh, just go back to the sliders and the reason we want 0 to 1 is because we've reparameterized it to for the point to move from 0 to 1 so we can move this point you see we're moving the point in the X and we're in the uh, Y okay so now what we want to do is we want to go uh, put a parameter for this point uh, now create the XY uh, plane again so we can create the circle the curve select finally select the circle here and create a radius for it so now we just name it radius really quickly get a slider over here put it to 10 or something like that ok 
Okay, cool. Final thing we want to do is we want to merge the circle and the rectangle to create this new surface. And you'll see uh, why this is relevant to the column floor slab concept. Um, merge the circle and the rectangle to create this new surface. All right. Uh, put a uh, parameter, f uh, s oops, surface parameter for this. Just going to be. Oops, we got a planar surfer, uh, surface. It silly me. Okay. Okay. Uh, something is wrong here, and I'll figure out why right now because we didn't put the rectangle. Okay, so now one last thing that we want to do is we want to uh, repar uh, no flatten the circle, um, and this involves you know data structures with a whole uh, which is a whole another lecture within an in of it in and of itself. It's another lecture within and of itself, um, but it's it's gonna uh, help us uh, ha get the correct surface that we want. Um, so now let's uh, take off the preview on some surfaces uh, so we can see what we have now. Okay, something's a little fishy here. Circle's not big enough, that's why. Okay, there we go. So now we see what we got. Um, that's what we want to create, and we copy this uh, twice for the other points, because it's basically the ex exact same thing, except you're connecting it to a different valley here, and then we just, it's the exact same copy. Labs and the final the grand finale is um, lofting these three circles in order to get that column. So we want to merge three um, three surfaces. Um, a little okay, yeah. So we go to loft. We also want to go to merge three. All right. So uh, you also want to make sure you are. Uh, loft these in order so uh, the loft is correct and it's not messed up alright so now we create the loft um, oh no 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 I'm sorry you want to create the loft between the circles not the surfaces um, okay there we go so so now we've lofted oh, and uh, we've created this, what's essentially a floor slab, floor slabs and columns, um, as that of in Toyo Ito's library. And we can mess around with it, you know, create create all different kinds of shapes and sizes with just just by moving the evaluated surface, because these moves the circles anywhere you want them to in the x y direction. Um, so there you have it.